Hi, beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Sagittarius, we're just going to dive right into your reading, into your message, uh, which is for October 2021. We're going to start off with an overall energy here and see what's going on for you. And then we're just going to dive deeper and deeper into the energy. And you're going to have plenty of time to figure out whether this is your reading or not. To then make a decision if you want to come to the extension and go even deeper into the message. Sagittarius, what is going on for you? It can be anything and everything. For whatever reason, I'm getting like a like a heat feeling in my face. I feel like I'm heating up in my in my cheeks. A little bit I don't know why is somebody dealing with that is somebody having a little bit of a fever uh, really strong it can also be like you're really um, activated right now like you're really um, accumulating mm, holding like a lot of energy right now and so it might come across as like you might think even that you are in like um, what is that called um, and like you have, you're in your, you're having <laughs> menopause. Is that what it's called? Menopause, menopause. Having hot flashes. But it's actually not your men menopause. Is that how you say it? Um, it's just overload of really, really high energy right now in your body. Maybe some of you are having real hot flashes at the same time that probably is not that fun so grounding is a really good thing and plenty of water so interesting and now it's gone so that was not me so as soon as so if i get like a physical sensation in my body as soon as i express it it's gone and if i were to express it and it's still there i know it's me it could still be you but it's also it would also be me but this time it was you Maybe learn to navigate that high energy as well. Like learn to integrate it and learn how to how to deal with it and how to work with it. Because it's going to be really beneficial. Well, this is taking a little bit of time, I have to say. What do you want to say to Sagittarius, please? Maybe take a deep breath. Sagittarius, take a deep breath. I know I'm doing these recordings not live, but I'm still with your energy as I'm doing as I'm doing these readings. I I ask for whoever resonates with this message to be drawn to this message um, to receive it. So take a deep breath, please. Sagittarius. There you go. There you go. So what I'm getting also is, and, and I'm actually getting a little bit lightheaded as I'm saying it, is that uh, I get this energy here of needing to just calm your energy down a little bit. So I understand if you're having hot flashes, if you're, you might even have eczema or having like itchiness or things coming out of your body. Um, things coming out of your body. I, I don't know. <laughs> like uh, it's just a little bit overheated. A lot of fire overheated. We just need to calm the energy down. It's a little bit overload, uh, overwhelm maybe a little bit stressed out, um, put your feet on the ground and really ground yourself, even maybe wherever you live or, or if it's possible to take your socks off and just connect with Mother Earth, go outside on, in, in nature or like just on your lawn in the grass uh, and just connect with Mother Earth. If you can't do that, sit in meditation and feel, like put your feet on the ground and, and pretend that you're barefoot on the ground and just connect with Mother Earth. Drink like heaps of water. And just every once in a while, take a deep breath. 
you know, a deep breath goes such a long way. We don't, we so, it's so underestimated what, what a good breathing can do. Like 10 breaths starting each hour, it's going to, it's going to be a game changer for you. Okay. So, wow. So here's the energy. So on top of that, like you're, you're doing something right. If you were just completely overwhelmed and completely sort of drained and overwhelmed, you would have you would not be able to sort of harness that type of high energy. So you're doing something right here. You're you're still sort of um, you're still working. You're still um, like um, existing on a higher level of energy. If that makes sense, because this is what comes out. And I love how if we just focus on the energy right here and the, and the colors, if we don't care too much, like the first one is good fortune, invite magic in. Yes, choices. We have, we have choices here. But what I feel with if we just look at these, the color scheme here, like one is very balanced and we have the energy working through you, for you. The other one is really scattered and it's like it's just so many things to deal with and the energy is scattered and it's like it's 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 not intact and it just works through you and for you it's really like all around you and a little bit fiery and you don't really know how to work with this and so i love how these cards like coming out of next to each other is like one is very balanced and you get to have the energy work for you and through you even and the other one is a little bit scattered overwhelmed you're not really in alignment with it and then it gets overwhelmed like you're getting you're feeling overwhelmingly like on like heating up or on fire or, or just stressed out that's also when you get into the choices where it feels like uh, interesting message here starting off this reading but it feels like sometimes it's like okay it's choices you have a lot to choose from this this choice or this feeling of I don't really know what to do or have I have so much to do I don't know really what to choose right now or being a little bit overwhelmed that only arises when this energy is scattered if that makes sense if you're in alignment we invite magic in so we're starting this reading here today. We're going to go deeper and we're going to see what this is about, where it sort of is going. Um, but at first glance here, it's like, learn, like it just said, learn to work with this energy and you're, and you're going to be in heaven. Calm yourself down a little bit. Calm this energy of yours down a little bit. Be more centered. Take responsibility for what you're putting in your body right now. I would not add any i know this sounds maybe a little bit weird and of course you do whatever you want to do like respond to what feels right to you but i wouldn't add any type of sugar right now i would lay so low on the sugars and i would lay so low on the, like the high um like everything that is a little bit fiery so like very spicy food um uh, I can't think of anything else. Like, you know, I think you know what I mean. The stuff that really triggers the system, whatever brings more to the fire, that sort of amps up the, the energy. Like, you, if, if, it, if you see a child running around like crazy, the last thing you want to do is give them more sugar, like refined sugar. You know that, okay, we need to calm down a little bit. We need to just earth ourselves a little bit. We need to ground ourselves a little bit. And the same thing, if you have all this fire in your, in your body already, or you feel overwhelmed and you feel this hot flashes, like even a burning sensation and things are a little bit itchy and a little bit, uh, eczema, maybe even acne type of stuff, like coming out of your body, I would so calm down on the fiery stuff. I can't, I don't know why I can come, come around anything else like sugar and spicy food but you know anything with a fiery element anything that brings more fire to your body i would lay low it doesn't mean for the rest of your life it just means for right now it means don't get into arguments right now don't get into uh if you know there is a possibility that this could cause any type of fiery energy for you 
conflict, drama, any type of stuff like that, even if you turn a television on and it sort of infuriates you a little bit to watch what you're watching, I would choose a comedy right now. I would choose, I would, I would rather choose something that made you really cry and sob and feel almost <laughs> towards the depressed side. Not that I'd want you to, but I'd rather choose that than anything thrilling or like, or making you feel a little bit like fiery and 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 angry uh angry fiery you know i would calm that down we're just calming it down if you can take an extra bath think of the think of the opposite of that like take it take let the water come in the earth and the water to, we don't need more wind either we just need calm we need water and we need earth Take an ex extra bath. Like, do you hear my voice just calming down and we're just talking slower and we're just kind to ourselves? We're drinking more water. You put yourself in the bath and just relax. If you see anybody sending you a text, an email, somebody's going to call you on the phone and you see that person might trigger something for you right now, I wouldn't pick up that, that phone at all. So yeah, that was incoming mail there for me. I got a package in the mail. <clears throat> and I don't think that every ever there's a message that is sort of... So I did this message and oh, there was the mail. And that was sitting outside of this. I would have done your reading when the mail was not coming or something like that. Um, so I feel with this mail coming in, do you really try to put in the package like in the... have this thingy through the door. But it was like too narrow for the package to come in. So I actually had to get up and open the full door to actually receive the package. So um, take away whatever you want to take away with that. We need to get you into alignment so you can, uh, which means that will open the full door to receive your package. Does that make any sense? We don't need any fiery stuff right now. We need to calm down. We need the opposite of fire. We need the opposite of sugar. If coffee, if coffee gets you amped up think anything amping up you need to just not do that right now in not doing it right now is that going to make you amped up even more then maybe just don't go cold turkey whatever that expression i never figured out what that that expression is i know i said that once before like going cold turkey <laughs> what does that mean go cold turkey is that because you kill them i don't even think about that Let's do another expression. Um, don't just quit on a whim, Hoff. If you know who that is, I was really funny. If you don't know who that is, I was just really weird as usual. Um, don't just don't quit like that, but just ease your way out of it. And like I said, this is not forever. It's just right for right now. We want you to work your magic. And if you're already somewhat here, you know what I'm talking about. You have already started to feel this like, oh my God, what is this addition of energy that is coming in right now? Is doing wonders with my, like if you're in alignment with this, it means that your skin is going to be more beautiful and radiant than ever. It means that your body is like on, on fire in the right, in the right amount of fire. It just amps the organs up. You feel more vital than ever. You feel more like energized than ever. Um, and it won't sort of sort of overthrow you. It won't it won't push you into to the overwhelm and the heat in the skin and the the itchiness and the stuff. You just you just are more in alignment with it, and then it really works for you. It literally works through you, and then it becomes magical. What a start here! Let's see. Um, I'm actually all all through this start here. I'm getting like all these goosebumps, like. And as I'm just saying that I'm getting goosebumps, I'm, I'm, amp, I'm amping it up. So there's a really strong energy around you right now. And I feel like you can almost, you can almost play with it. It's almost like a wave that if you sort of, you can, you can learn to work with it and move it and it will help you a lot. So why, why is this? What is this energy here? Why is this here? Can we get a deeper understanding of this? 
or Sagittarius. I'm just looking at the images, see if there's anything that stands out. and two. So the first one, yeah. Uh, so we're talking more like towards if when you have this under control. See now that I, I talk a little bit slower than, so I don't, I hope it's not messing with the message now. I think I I'm sorry if anything was weird there in the message. I, on my end now, it looks good. But for a bit there, it looked like what I was saying, my lips sort of came after it. So sorry about that, if that was something that you saw on your end as well. This is more talking about like if you're in this. When, we have, when we're more in control of this energy, when you have worked on your alignment with it, meaning I can't, I can't, I, we don't want to stress anymore, but I can't put more emphasis on this. But take responsibility for how you feel don't like you know what the right choice is for you if you know there's going to be more drama in the situation stay away from it i know that you know when when you're that fire to ca fire when you're that close to catch on fire anything like a little bit of a spark then just sort of puts you into full <laughs> full blown fire you know you don't you don't want to seek that out right now i'm telling you you don't want to seek that out so if you're on that end of this you're so close to catch on fire lay as low as one possibly can now it's like we have taken responsibility for it you are taking more baths like a bath every day and just really calm those nerves down and stay away from any spicy food coffee or sugar and just lay low for a bit um and any toxic people, any any people that tries to get you on fire, you know? Uh, and we're now assuming that we've done a little bit more of that work and we're now coming into when the energy really is working through you and for you, we will reach the Six of Ariel. This this just is such a gorgeous energy. Six of Ariel is just, it's probably the most in alignment card you can get. Six is love and harmony numerology wise but six is also uh the connection with your inner being you know you can never be this you can never be this out of alignment you can never my words just said it you can never be this fiery and overwhelmed and and heating up if you are constantly in alignment with your source if you're this is being in alignment with your source this is what it looks like it's coming through you and it's organized. It's beautiful rainbow and it's just organized. And that is six. It's the connection with your source. And Ariel, the archangel Ariel, is all about love and all about manifestation. So as you come into alignment, as you come into the love and harmony within yourself, connecting with, with Ariel, which is all, also all about the love, and then whatever you manifest will be magical invite magic in is what the good fortune is saying then we're inviting then we have fruit all around you then it's just working for you you just have to be your most beautiful natural self and it's just working for you i love this little do you see first we see it very clear the rainbow is sitting now around you but i also see like how it's connected higher up if you just Continue higher up, you actually see those little orbs or large orbs sitting like higher and higher up. Together with the two of Raphael, which is balance. Two is all about the balance, but it's also about like communication and conversation. And Raphael is about healing, becoming whole, helping, helping you heal and become whole in your, in your heart center. Um, so, so there's like this communication in your health right now, the balance with your health, 
the balance with your heart to really pay attention to your heart and really pay attention to your health right now is what I'm feeling. But this is also a very beautiful connection with a, with a like-minded person of yours. Like there's this connection with somebody else right now. Like it feels like for some of you that you already have a really strong connection to someone that uh, is bringing a lot of beauty, a lot of healing, a lot of... Um, understanding to your life and to for some of you I just feel like maybe maybe be a little bit more or often a little bit more often connected to this person would do wonders for you just like those fiery people around you would fire you up even more there's those people on the opposite spectrum of that like the, the opposite end of of that conflict fiery energy on the on the other end of that there's those people they're just making you feel calm and feel like you like two words with them and you understand everything it's like ah, of course of course so good like of course now when you say it that way i completely understand it and they just have this calming effect on you and if you don't feel like this is a this is a person it can also be an animal it can also be like for this specific reading is what I'm feeling. It can also be a, a, an animal um, and also like a spirit guide. You can, you can reach out to your angels right now and say, I like, I need help to calm down. I need to just get more understanding on this. So it can be like the most influential calming person, but it can also be a very, like, if you just sit with your cat or if you just have that special dog of yours, maybe your cats are really gorgeous in that sense they they sort of have probably already picked up that you need a little bit extra healing and they maybe even want to come lay on you lay next to you don't push them away if you have like a policy that no they're not supposed to sleep in my bed or something maybe this once you know we hear all the time they'll put food out they're gonna never leave if you if you you know or don't make them stay there they're never gonna you're the boss so if for two or three nights you have your cat sleeping really close to you um, then after the third night they can't sleep there anymore it's not going to be a problem you might have to just really say no I'm sorry but your time at the hotel is over and you need to find another spot um, I just feel like whatever the cats or the dogs are like being in nature like what that does for you right now it does wonders so don't push that away if you feel like you don't even you don't have a human, you don't have a, an animal, you can't even make contact with nature, sit in meditation and literally ask Raphael, Ariel, um, Michael, uh, ask any of your spirit guides to just surround you with the most calm they can find. And it's not so much about them finding it, it's, it's about you then allowing it in. So there's a co communication, a, a, a balance now with your s spirit team, with the, with the health and the, the heart of you right now. This can be a romantic partnership entering your life. Um, I think that's going to be on the smaller side of, of Sagittarius right now than the general message you feel wherever you're at and if you're not looking for love whatsoever you're not on that you're not on that small percentage but for some of you i feel like there could be a romantic uh connection as well do you want to add something more to this very specific move on i was like where am i yes the heat again so it, when I do okay so when I do something extra I just feel like overall you just need to really chill you need to be calm you need to um, um, you just really need to relax I just feel like as soon as I just started to, as East is just shuffling my cards, I'm getting like more energy in there. I'm getting fired up. 
and there's the heat again. So it's like, it probably, I know probably you feel like it, right now, if you could just go exercise, if you could just really, sometimes, you know, getting to, getting exercise is so good because you release a lot of toxins, you release a lot of stuff from your body that will just calm you actually down. I just feel the contrary here, maybe for just one or two or three days, four days, to not get into that exercise that is really um, firing you up, if that makes sense. It feels like you just need to freaking chill. You, need to, you just need to calm down. So if there's any sort of exercise, I would take a walk or just be still actually. Maybe not even take the walk for just a couple of days. I get open up, open up Sagittarius, like you, like we just open up and, and all of this will come out and you will receive this gorgeous energy. I will move into the extension right now. This is a little bit on the longer side here on YouTube. I just felt like it's important that you get everything that I feel here, but I'm going to go even deeper into this message and see what else we can find here for you. Very, very fascinating message here, but it's again Sagittarius. So I'm not, I'm not uh, surprised. We're going to go into the extension. If you feel like this is your reading, you're completely with me with what I'm talking about here. Uh, the link to the extension is in the description box down below. If you don't want to come there, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you back soon.